Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 90-rated Team of the Season Giovenco. So he's currently going for around 200,000 coins, what in my opinion is a bit too much for this Giovenco card. So I'd wait maybe a week or so for the next Team of the Week to be released, um, because I feel like this card will definitely drop a lot, maybe to around the 150 to 120,000 coin mark. So looking at some of his stats now, as you can see, he's got the four-star weak foot and the four-star skill moves. He has high, medium. Work rates. He is five foot four, so this guy is very, very small, and I actually think he's one of the smallest players on the whole of FIFA 18. And in the four matches I played with him, he managed to get me six goals. So moving now into the in-game stats, as you can see, he's got insane acceleration, um, insane shooting, and insane dribbling, and he also has a very, very good passing stats. Also, his stamina is absolutely crazy at 90, so this guy can run all game. Um, a very big con about this card, though, is his strength. This guy only has 49 strength, which is just so, so bad, and it really means that he does have to, you know, sort of adapt to. The the play of um, the game if he's playing against you know stronger more physical players but anyway guys this has been the in-game stats now let's get into the highlights so moving into the highlights now for team of the season Giovenco. The first pro I could film with him was his agility. Now this guy has absolutely insane agility. He's one of the highest agility stats in the whole of FIFA 18 at 98. So he was able to you know change direction really quickly and also when scaling is able to you know um, perform skill moves very very quickly. And after that the next pro I could film with him was his acceleration. Now this guy's acceleration is insane. As you saw from the first clip there um, after he took the shot he managed to beat all the defenders to the ball just because his acceleration was so so good. And and that's really helpful, especially, you know, when you're weak like Juvenko. Um, instead of going into, you know, those shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder battles, he can sort of just use his acceleration, you know, to get five yards on them and then run into the empty space. And then the final pro I could from this card was his finishing. Now, Giovenco has some of the best finishing on FIFA 18. I think his finishing stats are around 94, what's absolutely crazy. And, you know, if you apply a chem style, that helps to improve his finishing um, even more, you know. It just makes his card um, go to 99 finishing. So, moving on to the cons now. The first con I could from this card was his strength, and this was such a huge con. Um, when looking at this card he gets pushed off the ball so so easily and it can get frustrating at times and this is why I think this card really isn't foot champs worthy um, just because this guy is so so weak and when you're playing foot champs you will come against you know those players like Vieira, um, Holly, other players like that with really high physical and this guy will just get bullied um, so yeah I wouldn't recommend to play him in foot champions just because of that pure reason um, some of the clips as well I did actually um, get deleted somehow I'm not really sure but I can't find all the goals I did score with them so uh, I'll try and find them later on and maybe put them at the end of the video but anyway guys this has been the highlights now let's get into the overview So now moving into the overview for Team of the Season Giovenco, for a value of coins I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10, the reason it isn't any higher as I've already said is because you know this is only the first couple of days of Team of the Season so this card will definitely drop um, especially when the new Team of the Season is released next week. Enjoyment wise it wasn't really the most enjoyable player but it wasn't too bad to use, um, I was expecting much more of him on you know the enjoyment scale just because um, I had such you know high expectations from his SBC card last year on FIFA, um, it definitely isn't as good as this but it's still a pretty enjoyable card to use. Competitiveness wise again as I've already said I wouldn't really recommend using this guy in foot champions just because he is so so weak. Skilling wise this guy was pretty decent you know just because his agility was so so high so I decided to give him an 8 out of 10 and then I'm going to give him an overall rating of a 7.5 out of 10. So guys if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.